Meet Tom Kelly, the man who endeared himself to scores of serious turkey hunters when he wrote, I do not hunt turkeys because I want to, I hunt them because I have to. If we interpret that declaration to mean that's all Tom Kelly is about, we diminish the man and his accomplishments. Tom Kelly, Southern gentleman, Timberlands expert, military officer, corporate executive, author, and wild turkey expert. We might also add humorist, historian, philosopher, teacher, storyteller, and a thoroughly engaging man well worth spending time with. That quote about hunting turkeys because he has to came from this book, 10th Legion, which was published some 30 years ago. The book gave a lot of turkey hunters a validation for what they do, and most likely more than a few of them read the quote to their wives. More books have followed. Books like Better on a Rising Tide, The Season, Dealer's Choice, Faces in the Crowd, and The Year Outside. Now it might uh, surprise you to learn that Tom's first writing effort really had nothing to do with turkeys or turkey hunters, and it was never intended for public consumption. It's this book, The Little Green Book, which Tom's going to tell you about a little bit later in the program. Now, stay with us for the next hour, and you're going to learn an awfully lot about Tom Kelly, about the Alabama Timberlands, his military and corporate career, and, of course, turkeys and those who hunt them. Contrary to what some might think, Tom was not born in the woods and raised by old gobblers. He was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama, just across Mobile Bay from his present home in Spanish Fort, Alabama. Then as now, southern Alabama was heavily wooded, endless trees bisected by a few roads and logging trails. This is where Tom was introduced to the woods in the days of the Great Depression, and he became a turkey hunter in his early teens, way back in 1938. Not a good time to start. There were almost no birds, there were almost no hunters, but at the same time, there was a fascination to it. It was just, you, you didn't see, if you heard a turkey gobble, it was a success. You never, ever, ever walked away from a turkey track. You rubbed it out with your foot before you left it so nobody else could see it. And, and then you had these stories, you know, uh, Young fellows love to sit around, unless they're kin to them. If they're kin to them, they won't. But young fellows love to sit around and listen to stories that old folks tell. And of course, I started hunting turkeys in 1938, and you still had a good sprinkling of people who had been here and had been hunting in 1900 when there were turkeys. We, we really began to run out of turkeys in this country. The, the, uh, when the lumber industry cut out a pine in the Lake States, in the 90s, the other 90s, not the ones that we just got through with, the 1890s, and moved south. Uh, we, uh, we actually cut the original stand of pine in the south, in the southeast, by, by 1925. And so you had a period of between 25 and 50 when the type of timber completely changed and turkeys just went away. Uh, uh, then they began to come back. The bird is adaptable as hell. We got, uh, they, we, the states did a lot of good work in trapping stuff and moving it around. But you had a lot of stories. I mean, you could listen to your grandfather talk about killing turkeys here and killing turkeys there. And, and, and of course, as a kid, I hunted mostly squirrels and rabbits like everybody else uh, and doves. There wasn't much else to hunt. Uh, but as I got older, they began to come back more and more and more and more. I don't, and I don't, I, I question the numbers now. I don't see how the hell Missouri went from, from 300,000 turkeys to 600,000 turkeys in the five or six years that they've done it. I suspect we got states now that are playing bidding wars with one another. If those ignoramuses across the line got 300,000 turkeys, we got 350,000. And, you know, we, we, we're playing with numbers. Uh, we got a lot. <laughs> we got a lot. Tom, of course, remembers the very first turkey he killed during that time of scarcity of birds. The first turkey I ever killed was kill flying. Uh, I had been, it was not the first year I started. I started in 1938. I killed the first turkey I ever killed in 1939. And I had, we were in this place, it was, it was, it was in the fall. <clears throat> I was walking down the road and I saw these turkeys cross the road. Uh, and go from left to right, and I ran down the road, and there was a long hollow there, and I got over the ridge and ran to get ahead of them and came back over and sat there and waited for them. And when they came up, 
The turkey I killed was a gobbler, but I was shooting at turkeys. It could have been a blue hen for all I cared. I, I, I wanted feathers. Uh, I had, it was no skill involved in it at all.